Hello and welcome once again to 101 Things Jesus Has Done For You. We are still on our book and we are on our 74th thing that Jesus has done for you. We'll take our anchor scripture from Colossians chapter 3, the verse number 10. Colossians 3 verse 10. And it reads, you have begun to live the new life in which you are being made new and are becoming like the one who made you. This new life brings you the true knowledge of God. People of God, this is so powerful. Jesus has saved us and he is training us. He is discipling us because as we know, it does not matter how great... One is in the Lord. That person is still a disciple. An apostle is still a disciple. A prophet is still a disciple. An evangelist is still a disciple. A teacher, a pastor. It, it, it does not matter whatever gift you are. You have. Whatever gift you have, we are all disciples. Still learning under the feet of Christ. And so as we learn from him, we look more like him. We look more like him. At times we imitate our parents, we imitate our teachers, we imitate people around us. The more we learn about them or we see them or we interact with them, we can imitate them. This is what Jesus is still doing for us. So that as he is, so are we in this world. So that when people see us, they will see Christ in us. Hallelujah. Not just going to church, not just being in the choir, not just being heating or warming the, the, the pew or the seats. No, not just a churchgoer, not just writing your name in the book of the church. No. We need to be like him. We need to learn from him. This new life has brought us the true knowledge of God. That is why we need to study the word for ourselves. As we listen to people, we compare to what the Bible is teaching us. Today, many are being deceived because they do not have time for the word. Hallelujah. Jesus gives us knowledge of God. Everyone loves a celebrity sighting. It is true. When we catch a glimpse of our favorite singer at a restaurant or spy our favorite actor walking down the street, we are quick to call our friends. It is true. Just like Zacchaeus did, he had heard more about Jesus. He ran ahead. I want to see this Jesus. Hallelujah. In, in Jesus, God offers us opportunity not just to catch a little glimpse of him. But to know him. Jesus reveals us. Jesus reveals to us God's character. And tells us what he's like. His motivations and personality and values. More than just knowledge about God. Though Jesus offers the opportunity to really know God. To relate to him as closely as we relate to our friends and family. Because of Jesus, God is not a far away celebrity we see every now and then. He becomes our God and our friend. Oh, God is not just a celebrity. We, we just have a glimpse of him. He's always with us. And he, he enjoys being with us. He enjoys staying with him. When we wait on him, he becomes so happy. People of God. This is the God we serve. And Jesus has given us knowledge of God. And he's still giving us knowledge of God. Anytime we come close to the word of God or listen to the word of God, the Holy Spirit magnifies it and elaborates it 
for us. He gives us understanding to know the God we are serving. Without listening to the word, without searching the word, without reading um, literature that contains the word of God or even testimonies about what God has done for his people. All these are, are called the means of grace. So if we neglect all of them, it means we are falling. It may seem before men that we are all right, but neglecting all these things, we, we lack many things. Because for example, given is a means of grace. Having communion, communion, taking the blood of Jesus and the, the body of Christ, it is a means of grace because it reminds us that Jesus broke his body for us. In the same way, when we go to church and fellowship with other Christians, we share the word together and then talk together. It is a means of grace. Having a quiet time with the Lord is a means of grace. People of God, there are so many things that come together to help us grow and stand firm in the Lord. So do not forget that Jesus gives us knowledge of God. Study the word to approve yourself that you are a child of God. God bless you. Have a fruitful day. Please share the word and subscribe. Subscribe. God bless you. Bye-bye.